subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is Vasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can apply for coursera financial aid and how you can get up to 90 percent discount on various coursera courses so if you're a keen learner and if you are on a budget then this program is the best one for you First of all, I should tell you that not all Coursera courses certifications or uh, basically other things are applicable for financial aid. There are some courses for which you can apply for the financial aid, but it is a good thing to check if you are low on budget because some of the Coursera courses are very expensive and honestly not all of us can pay for them. So that's the reason Coursera has introduced the Coursera financial aid program where if you're a keen learner and if you do not have that much money then you can apply for financial aid if Coursera approves then you can get a discount up to 90 percent so the discount amount will vary but I think this is a good thing so for this I am going to move towards my Windows machine you can do it on a desktop or a mobile phone as well where you're simply going to open the Coursera website First of all, you are going to open any browser and open the Coursera website. If you are not logged in to your Coursera account, then first of all log in to your Coursera account. Once you are signed in to your Coursera account, you are going to see different courses. So you are going to open any course of your interest for which you need to apply for the financial aid. Now as I told you before, not all courses are eligible for financial aid. So first of all, let's say I want to apply for this course. I need to check whether financial aid is available for it or not. For all the courses, you're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And here you're going to have a more question section. And if the course has financial aid, you're going to see this option, financial aid available, learn more. So in this way, you can tell whether the course that you are interested in has financial aid or not. Since this has one, you're going to click on learn more. So you can see we have one out of 10 open applications, which means that as I can guess that we can at one time apply for at most 10 applications or 10 courses for financial aid. So here you can see it's asking that for which course I want to apply the aid. So if your course has multiple courses, then you need to select one apply for that. And then you can do the same for the remaining two courses. The original price of the course is 49 USD. I am going to click on next. Again, it's showing that which course you have selected. I am going to click on continue to application and the time that Coursera takes is up to 16 days and I think they are working days. Here you need to enter your basic information which I have already done in my case you're going to enter your highest level of education. In my case, it is masters. You're going to enter your annual income, which I have entered here, right? And my currency is PKR. In your case, it can be according to your country, your employment status. In my case, I'm a full-time employee, but if you are unemployed, part-time student or other, you can select those options as well. Then we have the reason why we are applying for the financial aid you're going to basically type that why you need the financial aid you can tell that you do not have much resources in cash that's why you are applying for it and you are a keen learner and you want to learn it so that's the main reason that you are applying for financial aid and the word count is 150 words once you have reviewed all the things click on this box and click on next and in this section i suggest that you stay honest and do not type wrong things now here are a few more questions so how much can you pay for the selected course as you can see the course fee is 49 usd in my case i usually go up to basically uh five dollar or ten dollar basically it will depend on how much you can pay for the fee i think i can pay five dollar for it and then you need to tell that how the selected course will help you in achieving your goals so you can see the course is ai for medical diagnosis so if you're an ai engineer or if you're studying ai and your future field is for ai in medical then you can type those goals right here again it is 150 words then you're going to agree to the terms and conditions like you are entering your accurate information and so on then you need to basically write this sentence right here i agree to the terms above as it is 
you're going to enter the capture and click on review and then submit it i have already submitted one for another course so i am not going to resubmit again once you are going to submit the financial aid you are going to receive an email from coursera that your application has been submitted and they are reviewing it after some days you will receive an email from coursera whether your application for financial aid is approved or rejected in my case it is approved as you can see hi seed wasili you have been approved to enroll in this particular course with a 90% off the regular price for 6 months of access this discount is time sensitive so be sure to enroll by july 30 2025 which means that if you get approved for financial aid there is a deadline before which you can enroll for the course and pay your discounted fee so you can just simply click on get started from here or you can simply go to your coursera account click on your profile picture on the top right click on my purchases go to financial aid and here you will see your application and in my case this is the one so i will pay 4.90 usd and the rest will be paid by coursera via financial aid program and the expiry time is july 30 2025 so i'm just going to click on finish checkout and pay my fees so i get discount on this course so yeah this is the whole process of coursera financial aid if you found this video helpful make sure to like this video if you have any questions regarding it write them in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it that's all for today thank you for watching and as always stay safe